Hey brother, I've just completed the second week of the life-changing dopamine detox and I can confidently say that I'm already seeing results. I'll show you on this side of the screen here the progress I've made with my screen time so far. Importantly, you want to pay attention to the reduction in screen time week over week, right? You can see that on a daily basis I'm at like seven, six hours still really really bad compared to where I'm going to be at the end of the year but you can see a consistent decline in the past three weeks isn't that awesome <laughs> I'm genuinely proud of myself and I've been bored the past couple of weeks and I have cheated several days to be honest but contrary to how I've done it before where I get incredibly motivated for the dopamine detox and I I swear I'm never gonna binge instant gratification ever again and that lasts like 30 hours 36 hours or something before I crash get depressed start hating myself again because I'm too weak to do this insanely impossible challenge of never binging instant gratification again and that whole hyper motivated short bursts thing does not work at all after doing it incountable times and yeah in the past week from monday to wednesday honestly those were complete write-offs i just completely cheated those days and even a little bit of friday as well i'm filming this on sunday april 2nd Last weekend on the Saturday and Sunday, I was extremely good with refraining from instant gratification to the point of I actually hit a PR with recording videos. I recorded like four videos that weekend that I'm going to edit and I've never recorded that many in one weekend before. It was tough and you're going to see in the video titled Dopamine Detoxing Guide on the Weekends. I'll put a card to it up here. But man, I was dopamine toxified last weekend just pacing around the the apartment and everything. This weekend though it was actually a lot easier than last weekend because I planned in and scheduled in some social activities for this weekend. I spent a lot of time with my girlfriend yesterday which was Saturday. This morning I went to the gym with my family and you know it was overall a good time. Obviously when you're socializing you're not going to be watching YouTube and binging things. I am again very lenient like whenever my girlfriend's over if we watch some Netflix show, some YouTube videos, whatever, I'm really unbothered by that, at least at this beginning stage in the first couple weeks of the life-changing dopamine detox. Since let's be real, how productive are you going to be with the girlfriend in the house? And really, the way I personally Pareto Principle optimize this, as Ethan optimized himself, is that I reduce the number of times I see my girlfriend in the week to maybe once or twice on the weekends purely and then from that there's more of a like I miss you feeling and an attraction at the end of the week especially because it's been a very stressful winter in terms of both of our uh, careers so at the end of the week it's nice to tie the knot on the week and just have some rejuvenating fun time with the girlfriend right so I'm going to continue with making the dopamine detox slightly ever so slightly each week more strict and seriously we're talking like 2% more strict this week 2% more next week because I have learned more than anybody over the past six years in the self-improvement depression stage that you've got to look at these goals in the long term and just make consistency the main goal you know as much as you want to be the anime character who solves all his problems overnight and completely becomes a new guy after watching one motivational YouTube short bro you're not that guy I'm not that guy and that guy doesn't even fucking exist I've seen more results in this very cheating lenient forgiving past two weeks of dopamine detox than I I have in the past year of several cycles of hyper motivation to have zero instant gratification followed by like two days later the start of a month's long rut because I wasn't able to stick to a very strict dopamine detox another goal of mine is this is the third weekend in a row where I was able to record consistently each week when at the time of recording this video I've been uploading videos to the channel for the past year and I only recorded on average every three three to four weeks. So to be on the third consistent weekly recording session right now makes me feel very confident in myself. Like, I don't know any cool way to say it. Legit, man, I, I just genuinely feel good. So yeah, this is two weeks into the life-changing dopamine detox. I can't wait to link back to this video after making a year-long recap review and <laughs> basically I'm just gonna prove that I was right two weeks into this shit. <laughs>
So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the results so far. I highly encourage you to take action on these self-improvement videos that you watch on my channel, specifically by following the life-changing dopamine detox. If you watch these videos as I upload them, then you're only going to be like two weeks behind me in the life-changing dopamine detox, right? You might also say like it's cheating to watch my videos on this thing, but at least at the start, we're being very lenient to have about two hours of instant gratification time. And I mean, if these videos are actually teaching you something, then I wouldn't really consider them a waste of your time, right? If I'm delivering the life-changing value that I hope to deliver, then I mean, these videos are a good use of your time. But anyway, enough of that. If you're in the self-improvement depression stage right now, meaning that you really know everything you should be doing, but you've struggled to take consistent action for whatever reason, then I highly advise you to subscribe right now so that I can stay on your ass about actually improving your life this time. Watch this video to make sure that this one wasn't a waste of your time, and I'll see you in that next video.